Hi, this is Don from A Life's Journeys, and this is Trip Clips for April 2nd, 2019. Been a little while since uh, I brought you uh, an episode of Trip Clips. Uh, a lot of that's come from uh, been traveling, been sick, uh, and been uh, editing videos from the last set of travels. So that's been the focus. Hopefully uh, you've caught some of those and enjoyed those videos. Uh, today's episode, we're going to get into something a little bit serious. I, I, I came across this, uh, I'd heard the news story a couple of days ago, um, hadn't really sunk in, except today I was looking at hotels in London, uh, planning for an upcoming stay. And, uh, you know, one of my traditional favorites in London is the Dorchester. Uh, and so as I was doing some reading, catching up on what the latest is, found out that the Dorchester, amongst a number of other hotels, has become the subject of a boycott, uh, being initiated by George Clooney and Elton John, amongst some other celebrities. Um, why? The reason for this, in case you didn't see the news story, uh, the Dorchester collection is owned by uh, basically the Sultan of Brunei and uh, the, the royal family's uh, investment arm. And Brunei, in uh, I guess effective tomorrow, April 3rd, uh, I think is the date, uh, is implementing uh, Sharia law in Brunei in connection with certain types of activities, namely homosexuality and adultery, uh, both of which will be punishable by stoning to death. And so that's, you know, it, it, there's been many coming out saying it's, it's cruel and inhumane, which it most certainly is. Um, you know, and, and so what, what I wanted to get into here is a little bit about, um, you know, George Clooney makes the argument that, um, by staying at these hotels, uh, it's putting money in the pockets of the people that uh, support this stuff uh, or, or that are the perpetrators of, of uh, this type of stoning activity. And so I, I just wanted to bring that to everybody's uh, you know, a attention, that this is an issue that's out there. I mean, obviously, uh, we each need to be guided by our own uh, conscience um, and, and whether, uh, whether we're going to participate in the boycott, whether these are hotels we even think of staying at in the first place. Um, and and that, that sort of brings me to what I wanted to, you know, I should tell you what the hotels are. Uh, reference the Dorchester collection, and, and I mean, we might obviously know the Dorchester in London, 45 Park Lane, also in London. Um, but that group has a number of other noteworthy hotels uh, around the world, including the Plaza Athene in Paris, Le Maurice in Paris. And... Uh, just checking my notes for a couple others. Ah, yes, the uh, the Hotel Eden in uh, Rome, uh, the Bel Air, and the Beverly Hills Hotel in Los Angeles. Um, so some really high profile, noteworthy hotels, uh, all very much at the luxury end of the of the brand um, or scale of, of hotels. Um, so again, this may not be an issue for for everybody. Those may not be hotels you have the opportunity to stay at. Um, I know for me, traditionally, Dorchester's been one of my favorites in London. Uh, I'm not going to stay at it this time. I, I, you know, as much as I like the hotel, I really can't, uh, I don't want to do things to support uh, that type of regime. Um, you know, I do feel bad for the, uh, for the great staff that, that works at the Dorchester. Uh, the service there is amazing. The way they take care of guests is absolutely incredible. Um, but I do have a little bit of concern about um, the social and moral impact um, that it has by potentially putting profits back into the pockets of the owners. And uh, so, you know, that, that's sort of guiding my conscience a, a, a little bit on it. Um, but I'd be curious, what do you think? Uh, you know, drop, drop some comments and some notes on in here. Do you support this boycott? Uh, has it, is it going to change your behavior? Is it going to change uh, the type or nature of hotels that you book? Uh, is it something that you even think about or is it, you know, best deal, place you wouldn't stay at anyway, going to put money somewhere else than a super luxury hotel? Um, you know, all that worthy of discussion amongst the group. So let's have the discussion. It'd be a really good thing, uh, to, to, to get that going because these are important topics, uh, in society that, that we really need to air out and to talk about. So, um, uh, I'll leave it at that. We'll pick it up based on the, the comments and the discussion. If we get a good discussion going, I'll do a follow-up clip uh, and uh, see where, where we can take it. Hopefully it be, 
you know, we've got some respectful discourse. So hopefully uh, you like this episode of Trip Clips. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. I uh, love to get new subscribers. Uh, love to interact and have exchange and comments and that sort of thing. So as I said, please leave a comment. Uh, click the little bell so you can get notified of future episodes of Trip Clips and other videos posted to A Life's Journeys. So uh, thanks again. Have a great day. And may all your life's journeys be everything you dreamed of.